poor guys. I, I gotta feel bad for the penguins, and not just because I'm kind of dressed like one. Um, I mean, this is obviously for going back to the 50s, but it's probably a step forward from my normal wardrobe. You know, the problem with dressing how I normally do is when you actually get complimented on what you wear, you're totally blindsided by it, and I never know what to say. You know, if someone says, hey man, cool shirt, thanks, I, I, I wore it myself. Um, <laughs> or, you know, if someone says, ah, I like your glasses, I'm like, yeah, you, know, you look really different without glasses. You look a lot blurrier. <laughs> For some reason, people have like this obsession with trying on other people's glasses, and people always want to put in your glasses. But this, this morning, this conversation actually happened, right? I was working up close, nearsighted, so I had my glasses off, and my lab partner says, "Hey, can I try your glasses?" I say, "Sure." And she puts them on. And her first reaction was, hey, "Do I look like a nerd?" And I said, "Thanks." <laughs> so no, but um, I, I've accepted my fate as a nerd. You really should see what I put my laptop through. That is, man, it is. Oh, like not to interrupt you, but um, that's also why people wear contact lenses instead of glasses. <laughs> because then people can't try them on. Because, I mean, it wouldn't it be disgusting to try on a pair of contact lenses? Would you want to touch me for 18 hours out of the day? I'm not that mean. I wouldn't do that for oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> but my laptop is It's got a broken hinge. It's got no internet access. And if you use it too late at night, it actually electrocutes you. I've got the freaking gremlin of CPUs. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that was, uh, that was a monster textbook from Harry Potter as a personal laptop, right? Now, if, if there was ever a dinosaur, it's that. So, thanks, thanks very much.